Hey, this is Dave from Bay Stencil. We're going to paint a couple of uh, Valentine's Day stencils on this wall over here. And um, you see one of them kind of is like a, looking like a little piglet there, um, which I think is cute. And the other one is a dove in a heart-shaped cage. So holiday, uh, Valentine's Day themed stencils. And I'm going to think I'm going to start with a little um, piggy here because uh, she's super cute. And let's see if I can find those stencils. Okay, so you can already tell I don't like this one. Um, first of all, it's a postcard, and so I really want to try to do this in a way that leaves out the white layer. Um, that is, um, so I don't paint a white layer with a white box around the outside. I'll show you a way to do that. And the second thing is that uh, the this this area here isn't quite dark enough because this should be where the eye is, and the uh, ears should be kind of like a little bit out. So this should be darker, and. Um, I also, I like the pink, but you don't really get the bow. You don't really see the bow in here. So I think in this area, in the pink, I probably want to, in the pink part of the stencil, uh, I probably want to paint this a different color so that you really make out that there's a bow here. Maybe I would do, I don't know, yellow here. Maybe I would put yellow right just in this area on the pink stencil. Um, that is on the mid, on the mid-tone stencil. So I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. This time I'm going to paint a light pink uh, on the background, uh, and I'm going to and I'm going to make the background kind of diffuse, and then I'm going to put the mid-tone layer, which is going to be um, a slightly darker pink, or maybe yeah, darker pink or a red or very light red, and then I'm going to do black on the darkest layer, and I think that's going to be I think that's going to be better. Pink, red, black. Let's try that, and then we'll put the we'll put yellow here, and that way it'll be. Uh, let's see, that white part will be pink. So maybe I need to figure out a way around that. Maybe I'll use the white stencil to make a little yellow around the edge. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, so what, what's better here? Uh, one thing that's better is that it's not in a letter box. So that was in a letter box, and this one is in a more organic shape. And this time I just chose to use a heart as a background for a background color. You can see that that pink background is kind of in this, is in this image. It's in here, it's in here. Um, so it's kind of like made its way to the center of the image. Where there was white, there's now some pink. It's just that I went in and used the white layer, and I went back over it and made it a little bit lighter. So that's why you see this is almost the same color as this, but it's... Um, got a little bit more white on it. It's not pure white. Um, the second thing that went better is that you can see the eyes. Like you can, you can kind of tell that there's a, an eye on the right hand side, whereas before you couldn't because they didn't use a dark enough color. Um, and uh, the nose looks more like a nose, looks more like a snout. Uh, the bow on the pig is much um, nicer. A uh, couple of things that I think could be better is actually I like the original color scheme better, like white, pink, and then dark darker almost black purple black purple and so what I might try if I did this again is to make the heart like a white heart on a pink or a purple background and then put the pig on the heart and then because there will be white on the heart then the pig could be pink and then the the rest of the features could be darker um, 
The other thing is that this, this part down here was not so successful because it just kind of hangs out in the air. This is meant to look like a shadow of the pig down below. So it might take that shadow out altogether or, um, or set this on an area where it looks like, you know, where it looks believable that the pig is standing on, standing on something. So maybe take this area and make something around here that kind of looks like a platform with the heart behind the platform and then purplish colors out beyond that. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this one. I think I'm ready to move on to try this uh, bird in a cage stencil. I might just advance directly to um, to a version of that that I think that will be successful. But I think there's some hybrid of these two that would work right. This, these colors are right for me, and um, maybe you prefer these colors. But um, I would probably do something like this with these colors, and I would make a make it clear that there's a place for this thing to stand. We're gonna have the same issue with this other one here, so I might go ahead and address that. Okay, so I didn't do the first one exactly by the numbers, and that's okay. Um, but what I wanted to see is I wanted to see what was actually in each layer because I kind of looked at this and I suspected, okay, there's a golden cage and there's a dove inside. And I could make the background, um, I could make the background uh, pinkish, red, purple, orange, something like that. And then I could have the white dove inside, but then I would need to do white sh shades of gray on the dove at the same time doing the, um, the right stuff on the gilded cage. Kind of thing. So I think what I, I think I've got the right approach with the gilded cage, but I think I wanted to think a little bit about the color scheme of the bird and the background um, because it's a Valentine's Day stencil. So it might might be nice to have pink in it. Um, so the bird could be pink, but I think it might be a little bit troublesome for. A, it's hard to read this and think, oh, a pink bird. Like the, the bird should be white. Um, so it should be shades of gray. So basically. Uh, in that first white layer stencil, the white layer stencil, if I went and applied that back again, I would go and, and, and make sure that this is white. Uh, and I would make sure that these tones of the bird are a little bit lighter and just go to a mid-tone gray on the darkest parts of the bird. That's how I would treat this in the different, different parts of the stencil. And then for the rest of it. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do a pink again like I did in the other one here. I'm going to make a pink background with a white dove in a in a gold cage. Let's try let's try this again. So we got our background, and then we're going to do the the dove with the gilded cage on it. And let's uh, let's just make this a little bit. Uh, actually, we're going to leave. I think we're going to leave out the shadow. Let's leave out the shadow at the bottom. Let's just do it that way. Thank you. 
Okay, so I like the one on the right better because I like the that it's pink on the outside and I have the feeling of the heart without actually painting any pink on the inside of this stencil. So the stencil is all um, shades of gray and then metallic gold and black. And I like that part of it and I like that, that it integrates with the background well. Uh, the one on the left, um, I, like I said, I screwed up the, the bot. I made a postcard out of it, first of all. I don't, never want to make a postcard. And I left the shadow on the bottom. So on the one on the right, I made it non-postcardy and I didn't um, leave the shadow on the bottom for the most part. I actually have this uh, darker darker tones here and I could just, I could brush those back in and, and leave those out. But I really don't want to go into the background. Like I don't want to mess with the background. The background is what makes this thing work uh, and it makes it float. And the way I screwed it up, um, the biggest way I screwed it up, I think, is right here when I tried to bring into relief the edges of the dove a little bit. Um, I put a little a white around it, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just um, uh, made the edges of the inside of the dove a little bit more more um, bold. If I did it again, I might prepare for that by just um, in my pattern making a little bit of an outline that's a little bit dove shaped, like a like um, uh, a background effect, just to kind of like push the dove forward a little bit, like maybe darkening the background there, making it a little bit like purplish. I think that would actually be the best effect. Um, I don't want to try it again right now, but um, that's what I would do to make this really pop. I would darken the background right around the, where the bird is in the cage, leave the rest of it as it is, and then put the stencil down. Notice that I did um, come back and I, I had that mid-tone layer. Um, this is the darkest layer, by the way. Um, I had the mid-tone layer, which is this layer, and it was a little bit too dark, so I went in and lightened it up. That way, this is the only part of the bird that's totally white. Um, the rest of it is just approaching white, and then the shadows, on the underwing shadows, and the shadow under here is, um, is all good. So, um, again, the only thing I would change about this one right now, looking at it, is I would paint a slightly darker background that's right behind the bird, and I would do the two. Um, I would do the midtone layer at the right shade of uh, the right shade, which is a very light midtone gray uh, from the get-go. Okay, um, so I'm happy with these Valentine's Day stencils. Uh, this one on the right gives us kind of a dubious message, and the one on the left is just cute, I think. Um, so these are my Valentine's Day stencils. This is Dave signing off from Bay Stencil. <laughs>